Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NAEW Underground. My name is Connor Witte, and I'm here alongside the one, the only, Danny Jackpot. I'm again, it's Danny. How's everyone again? I'm glad to be back with my partner, Connor James. My commentary partner, Connor James. What's up, Connor? Back Not to much. World Just ready for Connor. some uh, in-ring action here. We have the fraternity uh, in action. Uh, Jason James and Brandon Shields, I believe. Jason James, Brandon Shields, formerly the ITF. Both men, former ITF television champions, if anyone remembers that league. That is right. These two have uh, quite the history. But speaking of uh, a little bit of weird history, the uh, Dark Carnival. Making their way down the ring, not even from the entrance ramp to the audience. And you see what Puck the, in purple. What, what is Puck doing? These guys are definitely dark. No, what was Puck doing? <laughs> he was pumping the fucking mat. <laughs> He was doing something to the ring there as Connor, as Connor James shocked by the Dark Carnival's action here on NAEW Underground 1. This match the first of four matches in the NAEW United States Tag Team Title Tournament. That is Sorry. right. And uh, Jason James and uh, Bonkers starting us off. Bonkers is bonkers. <laughs> yeah, it, obviously. I mean, he lives up to the name. He does. <laughs> He, he got really eliminated. Up to the name. Oh, last week. <laughs> oh, that bad railroad. An upstart. <laughs> he really lives up to the uh, name of Bonkers. Brandon Shields making his first NAEW appearance. By the way, everyone, the other three guys were in the Fi- the Frenzy Fiesta Championship match, ten man rumble, all lost to Marcus Matrix. And uh. Actually, all these men lost to Hugo, I believe. Like, yeah, actually, Hugo my all boy these Hugo. I believe all Hugo tossed everyone out of that match. I was like the last guy. Yeah, my boy Hugo. <laughs> I think he racked up five eliminations in that match. Yeah, I think he was. Uh, but, uh, we're, this is a, an interesting tactic. That was an interesting attempt by uh, Dark Carnival going for the uh, quick tags. <laughs> You know, this is the first time Puck and Bonkers have tag teamed over a year and a half. Yeah, ever since the whole who ran over Bonkers thing. Well, well, I think it was uh, let on on assailant. I think it was uh, <laughs> I think I, I don't remember who uh, it was. Be Biff, it turned out Biff, to be. They always seem to have a really good like I don't know excuse. Jason James is uh, in control of uh, I believe Puck. Right now. Pucking it, taking two and by Jason James. Connor James, Jason James. No, no there- relation. <laughs> no Maybe. relation. Oh, I just realized that. Oh. No relation, unfortunately. <laughs> as much as I would absolutely love to be related to this Justin Bieber wannabe. Justin Bieber, you don't want to be related to that? I don't want to be related to that. <laughs> Oh. I, I, I'm glad there's no relation here. I, I well, wait a minute, Jason James has been uh, asked the entire time. And uh, Puck, I don't know what a bonkers or, or Puck. Uh, I, I don't know what Puck was going for. He was going for the arm, but I, I, you, I can't predict the Dark Carnival. They have weird battle tactics. You can never predict the Dark Carnival, let alone I haven't seen Shane Corson yet. Uh, oh, ducks under the clothesline. Puck in his own elbow. Puck even in his own corner didn't even do anything right. <laughs> Good <laughs> lord. And oh, wait a minute. This sequence looks awfully familiar. Jason James does look, have Daniel Bryan as an idol as his favorite wrestler. Two. Oh. And, oh, the fraternity. I don't know, I don't know if that was a kick out or if. Uh, Brandon Shields just fucked up really bad. I I don't know either. I could I think the, the camera might have missed Brandon Shields. Would he have either knocked him over there if he oh, tripped? Roll up one, two, got him! Another show ends with a goddamn care package to start the match. 
<laughs> oh, no. oh my lord! And Brandon Shields didn't even get tagged in once, I believe. I think Brandon Shields just got one of the easiest paydays of his entire career. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Shields got paid for doing absolute. It's like Luigi. Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing, and same with Brandon Shields. He but wins by doing but absolutely but nothing. Like Brandon Shields not win, not only do nothing, he did win something tonight as him and Jason James the fraternity are going to move on the United States Tag Team title tournament. He won by doing absolutely nothing. I think he threw bonkers around once. But that's it. I think he, I think he's even acting like he, he might have done a lot more than he did. <laughs> <laughs> the fraternity picking up a big win here against the Dark Carnival here on the first episode of Underground. Good job at the fraternity showing off, uh, well, Jason James specifically showing off uh, an impressive performance. But uh, coming up next, we still have a little more action to come as uh, we see these two men, these two luchadors, El Nuevo Conquistadores. El Nuevo Conquistadores coming down to the ring. This reminds me a lot of a former tag team that I've seen. They used to compete in the WWE, but I'm not going to really bring them up right now because it looks like they're completely ripping off their act. Yeah, uh, WEDF is going to have a little bit of uh, something to say about that. Oh, here we go. Lucha, 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 Lucha. I don't know. Uh, okay. WWE has okay. something to say about that. Uh, Frank Dunn's oh. lawyers are going to be in touch. Now, here's something interesting. Mike Ballander and Butch Simpson, this will be the first ever time these guys team up in a, tag, in a, in a match, let alone they're going to be in a tournament together. Ballander and Butch decided that, that their friends decided they wanted to team up in this tournament after losses on the first episode, the first upstart, the first pay-per-view, the first big show upstart. What do you want to call speaking, it? Speaking of that show, uh, Danny, we got to talk about something. What a crazy ring, I just realized. No, Danny, <laughs> Danny, don't change the subject. What's you and I have something up? to talk about. What happened? The, uh, Al Cabrera stole my fucking win. He stuck that right in there. You, you, he, he he sure stole my up. fucking win. I couldn't believe that. As Bush Simpson makes his way out to the ring. I I had to even throw that on commentary. I was like, that was that was Connor's saving grace. <laughs> Al- was my fucking win. All, all Connor did was break up a pin. Look, uh, he picks up the other guy. I was getting pinned. Next thing you know, he lost the pin. Yeah, that was my fucking win. <laughs> well, no, well, Al Cabrera steals it. You're not, not going to talk about that. You're not moving on. In the- <laughs> you and I got to talk about that. <laughs> you, you're not moving on in the Maple Leaf match. No, we had to talk about that. <laughs> what happened there? That was bullshit. I, 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 Ozzy <laughs> Andy fucking grabbed me, and the next thing I know, Al Cabrera stole my fucking win. Mike Bell. That ain't right. <laughs> I know Mike Ballander was there for that. <laughs> he didn't get pinned Mike behind me, son. Pinned. <laughs> I know. He's a, that's why I know Ballander was there for it. He's in here. He was when he got he pinned, got so he knows what happened. That's why I brought it up. <laughs> He thought some black and white guy was getting, was pinning him next to you and was in a finish on him and another black and white guy did the pinball. <laughs> oh, look at look at Amarillo's tights tonight. I like him. Uh, oh, a straight jacket German by a Valander. Valander is the only guy in that four way. Was the only guy in that four way that I didn't despise with all of my being. Well, now I you probably find Valander. by hell. <laughs> Al and I have a history. Andy and I have a history. Mike, I just met him on a, like, I, I just met him, and he he's, he's like a cool dude, you know. Yeah, you, you actually never you, you and Mike Valander in AW. I, I've man. never met him before. You never crossed paths when dude. you were at West when you were on East as Movado. Totally oh, what the hell? In. No way, it's not gonna end this quickly, is it? It's not gonna end this quickly. Is it? Uh, no, it only is a, not. a little too uh, soon in the match. It was only a dose. You know, you know, look at all, look at that, look at that ring that they're competing in, all the ring rope colors. You see, uh, you know, you know what those rope colors were? What? 
Looks like a south and north and east and a west, but anyways, back to the match. A neckbreaker. I I I don't know what that's in reference to. NAW <laughs> south, north, east, and west. Green, orange, purple, green, and blue. I I don't know what that's in reference to specifically. You don't know what the the specific the reference to NAW north, east, west, and south. Oh, stomping on the rib cage there. The ribs like, are like if you do damage to the ribs like that, it'll make it hard to uh, to breathe. Let it'll alone be hard to that breathe if you would damage the uh, air supply. You don't know those big impact moves. They got also it takes a lot of energy and a lot of momentum to even pull off some of those like what tilt world power bombs and stuff like that. Sunset yeah. power bombs. Butch Simpson is in, is an interesting uh, dude because uh, he's. Uh, this is, I believe, his uh, second tag match in uh, CAW recently. He's also been in a d- uh, tag team with uh, Ace Justice in uh, a couple of leagues. Uh, even New NAW, those two have uh, united. But uh, I-, I don't know if Ace Justice couldn't be called or if he was unavailable. But uh, either way, Butch Simpson had the backup in uh, Mike Valander to uh, fall back on. Well, Butch I Simpson think has because, a couple of friends. Butch Simpson has some friends deep in the Danny Jackpot community, and Mike Valander didn't have a job at the time. So Mike Valander, being one of my good buddies, had needed uh, to come back, and he got to, got to come back. What, what, what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> he's just, he's what just is happening in this he is, he is out luchily, out luchy in the table conquistadores <laughs> by all smarting <laughs> them. What is happening? This is like a new chase scene. I like the new Mike Valander. He's a little funner. <laughs> Mike Valander seems completely lost as to where he's going. <laughs> this is Mike Valander's first tag match I think I've seen him compete in a while. <laughs> Uh, oh, no. This is his oh. first match I've seen him compete in a long time. <laughs> you saw me think it's a little rusty? <laughs> ring rust is, ring rust exists as, oh, Movado nailed one. A heck of a hurricane runner there on Butch Simpson. Hurricane runner. Very impressive hurricane runner. Very, very lucha in his lucha things. <laughs> very, very, very good lucha things. <laughs> very good lucha things. Very A lot of lucha things. <laughs> oh... Valander, oh, oh. now stepping on Amarillo. Yeah. Stomping on the uh, ribs. Valander's actually working on a pretty smart game plan here. And, and oh! So, well, what, yeah, what, what, what do you do that? Uh, what is that when you spin, spin around like that? It's called oh, oh, twirling around uppercut. and hitting a motherfucker with a <laughs> <Yeah>. jaw. <laughs> a roaring uppercut. It's a roaring uppercut by Mike Valander. That's what it was. Don't anyone got a problem with no, that? No, it's show? rolling around and hitting a motherfucker in the jaw. That's what it is. A rolling uppercut too. Yeah, that's what we would be a proper name for it though. And that, that is what it's called. That is. And uppercut oh. to the jaw again. The uppercut Lots expert. Of uppercut. Do you Valander. think it was the Zorro up on this bitch? Valander, oh, that's what's it? Oh, what the uppercut? The uppercuts. This dude has a strength to his uppercuts. Once Valander got in there with some smaller guys, he was able to show some show some dominance off Mike Valander and Butch Simpson pick up a huge win. Yeah, I I after facing Mike Valander, he's a tough cookie. He's not exactly you know the easiest guy I've ever faced. Well, Mike Valander is going to move on to the semifinals to to the semifinals of the United States Tag Team Tournament. Now. So at least he gets okay. something. Tag team, tur- t- the United States Tag Team Title Tournament. Unlike Al, he shouldn't get anything for his but he's robbery. On the championship. Look at for these guys. Look at, look at the new tag team here in AEW. Connor, it was a pleasure doing commentary with you again. <laughs> it's been a pleasure doing commentary with you too, Danny. Oh, this is going to happen more often, I feel like. Good night from NAEW. God damn my hip toss! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.